Kenyans who have not yet registered as voters have until 6 p.m. this Sunday, the 19th of February, to do so. This after High Court Judge Enoch Chacha directed the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC, to extend the mass voter registration exercise for three days after a petition by activist Okia Omtata. The respondent, that is Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, is hereby directed to continue with mass voter registration up to 19th of February 2017 at 6 p.m., after which it shall stand closed. Each party do bear their own costs. Justice Charcher ruled that the national exercise should close on Sunday and thereafter IEBC should continue with voter listing at the constituency level. I'm alive to the provisions of Article 8.3, Sub-Article 3, which provides that administrative arrangements for registration of voters and the conduct of elections should not be designed to facilitate, should be designed to facilitate and should not deny a citizen the right to vote or stand for election. The High Court will begin hearing Omtata's full petition on the 2nd of May. However, the Wafula Chebukati led commission is opposed to the extension, arguing that it will be a costly affair to the electoral body and will also affect their election calendar. The mass, vote, mass voter registration drive is not a legislative requirement, it is not a constitutional requirement, it is in fact a policy position taken by IEBC. To strict the timelines and budgetary constraints, Lionel Council submitted. It would impact negatively on the first respondent if the order sought in the motion were granted, since the first respondent has a duty to prepare and conduct a fair and a credible election. Despite the lifeline granted by the court, turnout continues to be low at registration centers countrywide. Bado watu wengi hawaja jisajili. Kama sahi ni mekuja na radangu, wamepata kitamulisho chake leo. Kama imefungwa leo hii, hangi pata nafasi ya kujisajili kama mpika kura. Kwa hivyo tongeza IBC ku extend hizi siku mbili imefanya wale wamefanya kupata ID kuchelewa wamepata nafasi ya kujisajili. Meanwhile, court's petition against the IEBC over auditing of the voter register is said to be judged by a different adjudicator after High Court Judge George Odunga excused himself from the case. Justice Odunga has also rejected demands by IEBC to refer the matter to Chief Justice David Maraga to appoint a three-judge bench to handle the petition. Far this matter, which I found does not meet the threshold under Article 165 for the Constitution to the Chief Justice, to sign the matter to a bench, which bench will have to give fresh directions on the mode of hearing, in my view, would militate against the expeditious disposal of this admittedly urgent matter. In the circumstances, I decline to certify this matter as raising a substantial question of law to warrant reference of the same to the Chief Justice as required under Article 165 form of the Constitution, and the said prayer fails and is hereby disallowed. The opposition is challenging the award of the tender to KPMG for the audit of the voter register, and IBC has expressed reservations that Justice Odunga would be biased. This after the judge on Monday this week nullified a 2.5 billion shilling tender awarded to a Dubai-based firm for the supply of ballot papers for the August 8th elections. For Channel World News, I'm Brenda Zeda Radido.